Hey guys, my name is Slink and welcome to the Base Gorilla video tutorial series where we write a whole funky glitch up track from start to finish. Uh, it's going to be really cool, we'll play the track in a minute um, just to let you know what we come up with in the tutorial. Uh, but first let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm from Australia, obviously you can hear the accent, mate. Uh, but I moved to Canada, Vancouver two and a half years ago and I've been liking it here. It's a little bit rainy and cold but it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Canadians are alright. Um, I have over 10 years experience as a professional DJ and producer and I've released uh, a ton of uh, music on a bunch of different record labels. Uh, mostly, uh, most well known would be uh, Ghetto Funk, um, Adapted Records and uh, most recently my album on Section Z, Front Yard Futon. Uh, I've played uh, headlining slots at festivals and, and clubs all around the world. Uh, probably most notable being the Shambhala Fractal Forest, which is uh, quite famous here in Canada. Um, if you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. It's a great party. Um, and I've played at the Fractal Forest probably five times now. Um, played all around the world, uh, Italy, Germany, UK, Canada, Australia, the Netherlands, New Zealand, everywhere. Um, I've had some of my releases hit uh, top charts on Beatport, the Beatport Glitch Up charts top of Juno download and etc. Um, I actually won an award uh, in 2014 for a track that myself and Sticky Buds wrote. Um, best free track. So it's, we released it for free on SoundCloud and yeah, it's kind of cool to get an award like that. Anyways, uh, let's talk about the course now. So the course is roughly seven hours. Um, it's really in depth. Um, we really go into exactly how to do everything and like I said we take you from a completely empty project to a complete song. Um, we talk about every detail of writing the song from programming the drums, um, designing synth, bass, sound effects, uh, when and why and how to EQ and compress things correctly um, and also how to sidechain and when to do that, when it's appropriate to, to sidechain, to use sidechain compression um, we also talk about processing and, and automating uh, various different effects inside of Ableton. Uh, I try to describe some of the shortcut keys on the way so you can improve your workflow, um, get faster at things. Obviously writing faster is better because you get more stuff done. Um, and we also talk about recording external instruments in Ableton. If you've got a guitar or like a little synth or something, uh, we talk about how to do that. Um, and then we, we take you right through the mix down and mastering process and even talk about some of the different options you have when you're rendering your song so that it's ready to send to a record label and uh, a couple other handy tips along the way. So, so yeah, let's jump into the track, uh, into Ableton and we'll check out the track that we wrote in the tutorial. Um, all, the song, all the sounds that you're about to hear were created on camera in the tutorial. Uh, aside from a few guitar and trumpet samples, uh, which I've taken from my Future Loop sample pack, which is on sale right now. Uh, it has a thousand samples, over a thousand samples I think now. Um, and it's got everything from scratching samples to bass line loops, acoustic and process drums, uh, guitars, effects, and blah blah blah, a bunch of stuff in there, so check it out. Um, here we are in the um, Ableton project. Let's have a listen to the song, eh? And I'll, I'll try and click around and show you a few things um, before we get started with the rest of the tutorial. So, enjoy.
you like the track and um, thanks for checking out the tutorial we'll see you in episode one cool peace out